Chantilly here and I am going to make for you this wonderful butternut squash recipe. I'm doing a Friendsgiving tonight and I'm making a couple of new recipes. This is one of them and I believe it's one that I'm definitely going to do for my family at Thanksgiving. So you start out with the butternut squash but even easier. Your supermarket has it already cut up for you. And I'm all about making it easier. So buy the little container. I've already cut up butternut squash. It will make your life so much easier. If you want to, you can definitely cook one, cube it up, and start with this recipe. The funny thing is, I got my Brussels sprouts a little brown while I was doing the other recipe to show you. But you know what? Sometimes in life that happens, so we're just going to go with it. So what I've done is I've taken these butternut squash cubes and I've tossed them in a little bit of olive oil, cinnamon, and um, salt and pepper. And then all you do, oh, and brown sugar. And then all you do is throw them in the oven, 400, let them roast, put them in a pan by themselves. You're also gonna do the Brussels sprouts. Take the Brussels sprouts, cut the stem off, cut them in half, and then toss those in olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and put those in a separate sheet. Uh, sheet pan. What you want to do is make sure that it's a rimmed pan because you may have some juice that spills out, especially from the butternut squash. So take those, roast them 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. About 10 minutes in, you're going to want to flip those with a spatula. This is my favorite spatula right here. Like I couldn't live without it. So get yourself one sort of like this. Flip your um, butternut squash and your Brussels sprouts so that they um, toast on one side and then get browned on the other as well. And then pull them out. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the butternut squash. Grab my hot pad here. Take the butternut squash and put it in a bowl. And I'm just going to hold it up over here so we can get it faster. So you're just going to take it, put it in this bowl. And then you're also going to add the Brussels sprouts to it. So there go my really brown Brussels sprouts. That's okay. They will taste amazing. Nothing better than roasted Brussels sprouts, right? Got to know that you roasted them. So you got this entire mixture here in the bowl. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put about a cup of rough chopped pecans. I toasted these first because that always brings out the best flavor in pecans. So just a rough chop, you can see that I cut the halves basically in half. And so we're gonna add that to the mixture. And then we're gonna also add about a half cup of dried cranberries. So we'll sprinkle those in. And we've got this amazing dish. And what you're gonna wanna do is, because you may want it a tiny bit sweeter, you may want to put a little bit more maple syrup. So we could actually drizzle a little bit in so that it's a little bit sweeter. So I've got my maple syrup here. I'm just going to put a tiny bit, like maybe a tablespoon. We'll drizzle that over just to give it a little bit of sweetness. And you've got this beautiful dish that is going to be a crowd pleaser for sure. Now, if you're interested in this recipe or other recipes like it, follow me on Instagram at healthbyjan.com or healthbyjan, and then follow me on my website, www.healthbyjan.com. We have a ton of recipes archived on there, so I hope that you'll follow us and visit our website and enjoy this amazing dish. I hope you have a fabulous Thanksgiving. See you soon.